last night we were talking about relationship stuff tonight pulled up some websites today of like red flags red flags with dating and partners and stuff so i thought that might be kind of fun i got really into the show futurama dude futurama is awesome yeah but this is how much i got into futurama you know how they have the alien language in some of the scenes and stuff? Mm -hmm. I found the code for what the alien language was, like what the symbol meant as far as a letter in English. And I went through every single season. At the time, I think there were only five seasons out, but I went through every season. And every time I saw the alien language, I would pause it and I would use my little code to figure out what the message was in the alien writing. Yeah, I'd keep that to myself. <laughs> the first red flag is people who are rude to service workers. A hundred percent agree. Like they're just out there doing their job. But then again, there's times where they deserve to be rude too. <laughs> but oh, also, I would probably like try to figure out, is this how they are all the time? Or was it like they were having an off day? Cause I know like I've worked phone customer service a lot. And so I try my hardest to not take shit out on the customer service person on the phone. Yeah. Um, but there's also days that I'm having a really bad fucking day and the company sucks. And it's like, like when you have to call like Comcast or some shit, like they're the worst yeah, fucking people to talk to Everybody at Comcast on the deserves every bit of anger and hatred. Comcast is garbage for customer service. And then you tell them like you want to cancel and they're like, well, what if we offer you can pay like 50% of your bill like it is right now for the next year? And it's like, if that's possible for me canceling, why is that not just my bill anyway? The next red flag is people who hate animals, but cats in particular, not merely people who don't care for cats, but people who hate and would happily harm one. Yeah, no, that's, um, that's a red flag for sure. Not just cats, but like any animal. Well, yeah, so that is a, a big red flag just as a person. Like that means you're probably a serial killer if you're out here trying to harm cats. Yeah. And like every time I hear stories about like the kids that that had like a kitten and they did like horrible things to it, I'm just like, what is wrong with these fucking people? You have to either be like a dog person, a cat person, well, or no. just like an animal person. No, when person. it comes to that, I don't think you have to be like a specific type of animal person. But you could just, you know, not like animals and just like don't fucking be an asshole, you know? I understand that Alex doesn't want a cat because he's allergic, but like you are totally okay with dogs. Yeah. And like having farm animals at some point. So that's enough for me. Yeah, because the farm animals, when they piss me off, I can cook. Old Betsy was being a bitch today. I guess we're gonna eat burgers and steaks for the next month. I love that thing where it's like, what if, what if humans are actually all allergic to like oxygen or water? And it's just that it takes about 60 to 70 years to kill us from it. <laughs> well, fuck, can it hurry up? <laughs> <laughs> Like I, I saw this one conspiracy theory or, you know, batshit crazy guy type of stuff or whatever. And uh, he was like, well, what if humans were like, we're an alien race to this planet? Just think about it. The majority of the stuff on this planet is, is harmful to us in one way, shape or form. What if we were just exiled because, you know, they deemed us too violent or too stupid or whatever? Yeah, and think of how many things it's like, oh, that gives you cancer. Oh, that gives you cancer. Oh, that gives you cancer. <laughs> you say as I hit my vape. <laughs> it's not the nicotine and the cigarettes that's giving you cancer. It's the, the, the tobacco. Other, the other and all not of even, the carcinogens in it. Not even necessarily, like, because pure tobacco doesn't give you cancer nearly as fast as fucking cigarettes and whatnot. Well, yeah, so I think what they said at one point was anything that you inhale, it could be fucking pixie sticks. It doesn't matter what it is. Like anything you're inhaling to, into your lungs. Don't recommend inhaling pixie sticks. Yeah, I don't either. I wasn't giving health advice here or anything. Uh, anything that you introduce to your lungs that is not oxygen and the other, uh, <laughs> no, I was gonna say like the other gaseous substances in the air that are okay for humans to breathe. I just can't 
because air is like oxygen, CO2. Is there nitrogen in the air, Ash? Yes. Yeah, so like it's like a mix of different. Sorry, disregard shit. my answer. You asked Ash. No, I, you answered a lot quicker than she can. <laughs> That's why I said, you know, when you were like, oh, the oxygen. I was like, yeah, and all the gins. Yeah, okay. Nitrogen. Carbon dioxide gin. Anyway, the next red flag is this one, I think, is specifically a red flag for men. But it says if they refer to themselves as an alpha male or call other men betas. It, think about it like this, right? Like somebody who's the best at something in the whole fucking world, right? They don't run around and tell everybody that they're best in the goddamn world. They let their actions fucking prove it. But no, like alphas who sit there and proclaim that they're alphas and everybody else is a fucking beta aren't really alphas. Yeah. They will get that, put in their fucking place so goddamn fast. That was my thought about it is like, don't you like if you're if you have to tell me that you're an alpha, you're not a fucking alpha. The next red flag says as like a quote, let the janitor clean that up. It's their job. That's bullshit. Huge red flag. Like, yes, they do get paid to clean. But how about you just be a decent human fucking being and clean up after yourself? I think it completely would depend on the circumstances, right? You caused that mess, and then you're saying, let the janitor clean it up, you're a fucking douchebag. But there are definitely circumstances where it's like, you see something happen, like that somebody else did, and you help, and you want to help, but the person you're with was like, don't like don't worry about that like we let's let's just go i would see that a little bit differently when literally everyone else in their life is the problem and not them if one often has drama friendship problems arguments etc but it's always the other people's fault that's a clear flag in my opinion yes those people typically cannot take responsibility for their own actions, so they always pawn it off on somebody else. Why is it that when I read that, I think of a very particular person? Taylor Swift. <laughs> well, <laughs> she fits too. I was like, thinking of a different How many songs blonde. has she written about how her exes are so fucking terrible? That I just, like... And she said, I'm the problem, it's me. Next red flag is don't talk to me. If you can't take a joke, equals my humor relies entirely on being offensive, crude, and I have no intention of growing up anytime soon. Yes, I, I know quite a few people who are like that. But then also when you fucking flip the tables and you make a joke about them, even though they've been ragging on you forever, they get so butthurt. Obviously, we all have the type of sense of humor where we will like make jokes about each other. But the minute somebody was to say, hey, that's like too far or actually that kind of like offends me or that upsets me, like we would all stop. Except for if it's about Kyle. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle doesn't matter. Kyle. <laughs> then we would do it more. Yeah, 100%. Uh, red flag. He was only looking for a multimillionaire that he could use her money. Oh, well, obviously you ignored that one. <laughs> I ignore every red flag. I see the red flags and I just keep walking straight towards them. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. <laughs> red is my favorite color, okay? It's not my fault. You know what is a big red flag for me? People last that stand. use fucking last stand in Call of Duty. 100% agree. <sighs> like, just die like a man, damn it. Right? Or a woman. 2023. Well, I guess women can die too now. The next red flag. When someone says they don't usually find women interesting, attractive, smart, funny, whatever, but they think I'm great. No need to devalue others to tell me you like me. I, I don't think that it is a good sign if you're like, I usually don't think women are attractive, but like, I think you're attractive. Cause then it's like, well, are you sure you like women? <laughs> Are you saying that because I have a very manly face? Attractive is a moment thing. We all get old and gray. Yeah, that's the other thing too. Like it should, it should not rely on the looks of a person alone. Cause you will be disappointed in some amount of years. Yeah, that's why I just get that disappointment part out, out of the way right up, up front. <laughs> like I'm ugly and I know it. You are not ugly. You don't have to lie to me, babe. You already got me. 
I'm not lying. Well, then maybe your uh, LASIK didn't work out as well as you thought it did. I'm sucking tonight. Um, Twerk, I'm really sorry that you had to come in tonight when I'm having a really bad Call of Duty night. Just gonna leave <laughs> that one alone. This next one, it showed up. I know it's every night. I was trying to, I was, I was, I was I'm sorry, I lied. It's every night. <laughs> Uh, this next one to me is just super cringy, not really a red flag, but it says men who say I work hard and play hard. <laughs> I work hard and my bank account plays hard. Plays dead, you mean? Yeah. When women say that they don't have women friends, they don't have other women as- oh, he said, oh, come on, I'm a good guy. So he combined two of the red flags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, I'm a good guy. Just give me a chance. I don't usually go for women like you. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't usually find women interesting, fun, or attractive, but there's just something about you. <laughs> oh, don't worry about this mess. The janitor will clean it up. <laughs> if your work goes... We're all family here. Yeah, fucking huge red flag. I would also say, like, maybe when when a, an online community that you join is like, we're like a family here. That's also kind of a red flag. Yeah, no, no, with what Ash said, it depends. Like, am I employed in Alabama? <laughs> Why are you marrying your sister at work? It's weird.